What's up guys, welcome back. We're watching Attack on Titan Season 3, Part 2, Episode 8. Last week's episode, we finally reached the basement and it opened up a lot of doors to a lot, a lot of questions. And it seemed to end off on a note in which we're going to learn about Grisha, Eden's father, in the past where he came from as a kid and whatnot. And maybe how everything for him turned to shit. <laughs> but we're going to, I think in this episode, we're going to see a lot of backstory. And this backstory might be a lot of the stuff that Eden, Levi... Hanji and Mikasa learned after reading the books that they found in the basement. So without further recap, let's get right into it and see what's up. This episode came out so late guys, I deadass thought it was not coming out and I was just like... When it came finally I was just like, oh it's so late. But I still want to know what happened so... His eyes look so dark. <laughs> Devil blood? Does that have anything to do with the people that can turn into titans? Why does he sound like Eden Loki? To their paradise, like they're killed? What the hell? You know that cop is a bitch ass liar, bro. Oh. <laughs> Yo, what the Like, you know that cop is a bitch ass liar, bro. Wow, so there's that kind of discrimination going on here. Um, wow, what the hell did the girl go through? Like, I know, right? Yo, you lost your sister just because you didn't listen to your mom. She's the first Titan? That's who Yamir is? Born her death, you may spirit was Into nine Titans who formed the Eldian Empire. Is this legit or just kinda? Oh, he, he reading read it too fast. <laughs> he read it too fast for me. Forced other races to bear their children. How the hell? Hold up. Hmm. Okay. Unless they, they shrunk back down to size. Like they went back to human size. I don't want to see how that works. Why does it sound like a BS story? Okay. So like the father's low key trying to protect the family to be honest. Oh, 
Whoa, buddy. It was harsh, but it was true. From what I understand, their ancestors were the Titans? Or like the people that could turn into Titans that began to oppress the other races? And that's why they said the devil blood? Does that make sense? It's so it's like I suspected they are directly related to Titans by blood. Oh my god, they had her killed by guard dogs? Wow. Imagine being a little gr young girl and going through that, bro. When they really have two writings on the top and the bottom, I'm like, whoa, wait. Someone's watching? Oh. That's his first wife. So honestly, like, Titans were shown to be, like, people. Like, just like as we know it, they weren't all these, like, brainless running around doing weird things. Titans, it seems like a lot of them were actually, like, just giants. It's kind of like they're just giants. Um, and some of them may have still been kind of, you know... But okay, anyway, okay, okay. <gasps> These are the Titans in the walls. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh, what? Are you telling me the Titans in the walls are super old? Like, old, 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 old. That makes sense because it's when the walls were built. Holy crap, this just feels so weird. <laughs> Holy shit, the sun, y'all. Yo, Z. Yo, 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 after last week's episode, I forgot to mention at the beginning of this episode, I totally thought it could have been the freaking furry titan. I completely freaking thought it could have been the furry titan, but I was like, he looks a bit old, and I felt like, would he really be that old compared to Eden? Like, Eden... Like, Grisha was his father and alive, and he wasn't super old, only 15 years ago, about. And, like, so, why does Zeke, I think they would pronounce it like that, look so old? Or, like, he doesn't look old, but he just looks older, like, 40s? Maybe that makes sense. I don't know. But anyways, I had a feeling it was him, bro. I swear I had a feeling it was him. After... Last week's episode, I was like, oh my god, you know, the light hair makes a lot of sense. Like, holy crap, holy crap. <音楽><音楽><音楽><音楽> Shudan 
お前は誰よりもマーレンの教えに従順に従わなければならないエルディアの屈辱はあなたが晴らすのようん分かったウォーウカイフこう自らの思想に染め上げる罪深さを自身と向き合ったことが一度でもあっただろうか何にせよジークは自らと祖父祖母の安全を選んだ愚かな両親をマーレ政府に差し出すことと引き換えにはっほっウォーウォーついたぞ耳が立つサイズを超えそれは残念だもう一本いく Is that the cut from before? It is. Holy cow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow, and then they're injecting him. The other guy didn't get the shot, so he's really just gonna get eaten as opposed to being a titan. I don't know which one's worse, but like, that's worse. I don't want to be that guy. That's that's messed up. That's so messed up, y'all. Oh, this is so messed up, yo. My head hurts. This is like, oh my god, no! Oh shit. The thing is that the only way they can come back to being a titan is if they eat a one that can, like a human that could turn into a titan. So how is Grisha gonna go back being human? <laughs> Look at her bed head. Her bed head though. Oh my god, I want to give my boy a hug. Yeah. The because he ate his dad, so it makes sense he has his memories. What Titan? Because she came back and she ate the wife, but she kept her promise. She made it to his house. Grisha wasn't there, but she like made it to his house. Holy, what the hell, bro? I did not. I did not realize that Titan was female, but I guess it doesn't really matter at this point. But um, wow, that's crazy. But she didn't. She was directed in the end to like following him somehow. Did he just click his tongue? You know, and I'm sorry, like, the worst part is that even though this is an ex extreme case where there's humans and titans and all this junk, is the fact that there really are human beings like this in this world, which is why there are so many effed up scenarios actually occurring in our lifetime. Because there are actually just really trash humans out there. 
it's so fucked up and I don't understand what's wrong with their brains but they are legit the reason why people make shows like this is because they're based on reality there are humans that are just shit and it's so true like this is extreme but this is legit like there is trash like this なるほど。俺はその日を受け入れる心構えがある。なぜならこうやって残酷な世界と向き合い、理解を深めているからだ。ああ、お前の妹と息子たちの犬に食わせたのも教育だ。But like What's the point of instigating all this? I feel personally attacked by what's going on. Like, I feel so personally triggered. I feel so personally triggered, and I'm gonna be real blunt just because of like how much this relates to racism and just things that are going on even today to my kind personally and directly it's like when i hear things like sucks that you're eldians it really hits home it hits home and i'm not saying i mean i'm black and i'm proud as f like i don't give a shit but i'm just saying that when that sentence is said it's like really effed up because it's so true it's so true it's like too bad you're this like this is why all this is happening to you guys because you're this and it's just people don't say it but we all know that's what it is and it's just this is personally triggering me why do i feel like i recognize this titan take him with you bro yo you some t please somehow take him with you made my night <sighs> yo <sighs> I had hopes for this man I had hopes for him <sighs> this is the best thing it's such a cruel world you said you'd embrace it when your time came what else? look look at I know I've seen this Titan before I know I've seen this Titan before I know I've seen this Titan before Doing the exact same thing, I think, just like looking at you, and I was like, look at this Titan. <laughs> I would ask him that. I'm like, interesting, buddy. <laughs> Explain it for my researches. He's the owl. I, why did I not think of that? He's the owl. That's so cool. Yo, his Titan reminds you of Eden's Titan right now. It's beefy, it's nice, and it's easy on the eyes, and it's, it looks good. <laughs> oh. oh my god, okay, okay. Woo! We need a moment, y'all. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on, what? Is Grisha going to end up eating him? I feel like Grisha is going to have to end up eating the owl. Right? Because... Mm -hmm. Okay. Attack Titan? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, y'all. Ooh, let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk real quick. Okay guys, so let's take a moment to talk about everything that we got in this episode. As I was watching, it honestly felt a bit much. It was kind of like a lot to take in. But as time went by, I took the information. I'm like sinking it in, piecing it together, thinking about a bunch of other stuff and whatnot. And I'm like, 
Okay, so if I had to summarize what I got from all the crazy stuff we received in this episode, to start off, we can kind of understand that there is the Eldians and the Marleys. And basically what happened is the Marleys have been teaching that Ymir, which is basically the first female to turn, the first Titan, to actually become, well, the first human to become a Titan, okay? And, you know, whatever. And then when she died, she gave her soul off to nine different Titans. And I guess one of them is specifically the founder. I guess one of the Titans specifically hold the founder ability, which I believe is like the biggest, most important one, which is the one that Eden has right now. And I get the feeling that the other ones are like the furry titan, maybe the armored titan and colossal titan. Does that make sense? And then basically, for whatever reason, I'm actually not sure what the reason is, the story about Ymir that was actually how she helped grow and lift up humanity and whatnot ended up being falsified into something really negative as if the Eldians and the Titans were just bad and evil and they tried to destroy the other races that are which is what the Eldians currently now consider the sin that they committed in their past through their ancestors. To me it's still a little bit unclear as to who the Eldians really are. I do understand that it was the Eldians are people who live in the Eldian Empire which was created by Ymir and well the nine Titans I guess you could say. Um, I just still don't understand uh, how those humans came to be, those humans that are able to become titans, like I'm trying to understand how those humans actually came to be, like how 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 did they create them or like, you feel me? I don't know, I guess I kind of missed that part. But anyways, basically the Eldians are able to turn into titans, they are people that are able to receive the spinal fluid of titans and become a titan themselves. With this, it seems that with the information that is being spread through the land, the Eldians are highly discriminated against by the Marleys. When the Marleys seem to have taken the upper hand against the Eldians during the war that they said took place, what, 80 years ago, something like that? The first Eldian king, I believe, ended up taking some Eldians with him to the walls, to the, like, cross the lands, created another whole ass section, okay? and built the walls that was filled with titans in which he said if you interfere with us those titans will come out and destroy everything that's what i understood so we learned from this that basically eden all the people that were living in the walls that are born within the walls all this time are eldians basically meaning that they all have the potential to become titans and that they're all descendants of, you know, Ymir and all that stuff. That is crazy information. We also learned that that king ended up taking the founder's ability with them, which makes sense now because we learned about, like, the Reeves family. Remember when Grisha came and killed those people and took the founder's ability? Now we know that the founder's ability was taken there by the king. and It just, it just makes a whole lot of sense now what was going on there. I'm also trying to understand what is the thing with the royal families, like there was the royal family that stayed behind in the Marley land and stuff like that and ended up, you know, fighting there for the Eldians that were left behind and then there's the royal family beyond the walls, I mean within the walls, sorry. But another curious piece of information for me is the fact that I believe they said the Marley ended up taking control over seven titans out of nine? Uh. I suppose one of them is the founder titan, but what is the other one? There's another one. Right? That There's another titan missing in the equation. And so this whole time we learned that Grisha's goal was to actually make it across. Somehow he managed to make it to the walls actually, get in behind, like be within the walls and whatnot, and he was actually able to get the founder ability and leave all that to Eden. However, Zeke that actually betrayed his father and the whole and the Eldians ended up siding with 
the Marleys and honestly I really wonder what his backstory is about that like what he actually thinks of the situation and why he's not fighting for the Eldians so we know that he's trying to get the founder ability for the Marleys and the other crazy piece of information that we got is that all these Titans running loose are just like Eldians from the land of Marley that are just turned into Titans and thrown into paradise was it, what, is that the paradise and he was sort of all paradise basically all those titans were just all those Eldians were just transforming titans and boom just boom left to go like that that's crazy it's like now we know that this is all really the marley's doing and it just makes a lot of sense how now they're all just going for the walls they're just it's crazy man we actually got a lot of info the other question i was asking myself is that i don't really get how the owl was able to scratch himself and become Titan. Now I'm trying to understand if, if that's actually something they can all do. Like, can Grisha do that right now? Cut himself because it's like, because if not, that would have to mean that the owl had eaten a Titan shifter. But it's like, how exactly do they? I don't know. When the owl had said that this is how you use your ability, it made me think that oh, there's actually a way they can just do that naturally Eldians like they can all actually achieve that without getting an injection without having to eat another Titan shifter it's just when he said that that scene kind of made me question some things but anyways well, I guess that's where I'm at right now there's there's still a lot of things floating around but I think for now this is pretty much what I got summarized and what my brain can handle right now I think Eden haven't getting to experience this literally on a personal level to the point that he literally feels like he is in those people's bodies like when he woke up and asked himself who am I is because honestly he was his father in that time he was going through all that when he said Dino and he said the name of his father's wife previous wife I don't know that just touched me because then I just felt like I was looking at the same same person and in a way that's true not only is Eden Grisha's direct son but it's just the memories passed down is literally him you know so it's like it just something just really touched me there and it was crazy to see that Dinah was the one that ended up eating the mother in the past like this is just such a personal intense situation I mean she was jealous <laughs> all jokes aside I'm so sorry but it's crazy to see the things just coming full circle I'm so excited to find out more but honestly I'm gonna end this video here this is pretty much what I got so thanks a lot for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video leave how you guys feel comments down below no spoilers and I know someone suggested to me that I turn off comments, um, but I actually don't want to because later on in the future I would like to come back and kind of snoop down the comments and see what people have been saying. But yeah, so thanks a lot for watching. I'll see y'all again tomorrow for Dororo and bye!